let's gameplay these implications because I don't know what's going to happen from Juventus' perspective, as we said. He's, he's a very expensive player to have on their books. But like from the Real Madrid angle, mm. okay, um, we're going to get into later about all the free agents and this notion that Real Madrid are saving their money. But if I'm Carlo, I look around, and I've got Benzema, who's fantastic, who's also 33, and knock on wood, he stays fit. I could probably use another gold scorer, given that Hazard's injury record is what it is, given that Vinicius, I think, scored all of three goals last year. Yeah. <laughs> Gareth Bale is Gareth Bale, uh, and comes and goes, and I don't necessarily like him very much uh, as a player. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world uh, if, Cristiano, if Cristiano came for a year, especially when you figure a year from now, you will have lost Gareth Bale's uh, big wages on the books, or would it? I don't think it is a good idea. I don't think I don't think Real Madrid should go for him. This is his time was great and his legacy is fantastic and he would be forever the greatest player that club has ever seen, maybe or one of the top three. But this is over. This is over. You, you don't you don't come back. This is not where Real Madrid are right now. They are looking at the future. They're looking at Mbappe and Holland and. I'm glad you say that because I get accused of sounding like Carlos. No, no, but I say stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, but it's, and it's not bad. But, and I, you know, I, I, even for Cristiano himself, I don't think I don't think going back to where you've been so successful when you're 36, and of course he's still in great shape and he's still scoring goals and he will score goals at Juventus this season. But we've seen that when he had to step up as a leader and sort of carry that team. He struggled in the Champions League against right. Porto. There were not two good games from him personally well, and collectively. But that's why I, don't, I think that story has ended him and Real Madrid, and he should, they, no, no, neither of them should go back to it. Do Real Madrid still need a striker now, or can you go with Benzema and Jovic? Or a striker, goal scorer, whatever. I think Benzema and I think that's fine. And Hazard and, and Bale, and I think that's okay. I really do. I really right. do. Okay. From Juve's perspective, Let's leave it right aside the, the question we teased earlier about whether he's been a success or not and, and whatever. Just focus on the, as of right now, if somebody shows up with 25 million and it's a destination that Cristiano's okay with, mm. do you let him go? Yeah. Yeah, you do. And you have to. You have to because it was always going to be a, sh a short story, okay? And in that short story, he's got loads of goals, which we all knew he would. Maybe he scored a little bit more than you expected, maybe a little bit less, not sure. Maybe you thought it would be more dominant in Serie A, maybe not. Okay, but the goals were always going to be there and they are, they've been there. But for the rest, I'm sorry, for me, this has been a bit underwhelming. You know, his arrival there, I, I don't, what they've done in the Champions League, even what they did last season. I think you, as you know this from our album, my young, discussions yeah. you don't pay players for what they did before you pay players for what they're going to contribute in the future yeah, and, and from that perspective I look at this and yeah if I'm Juve a year from now I don't know if I can extend him he becomes a free agent I genuinely don't know they've lost 300 million yeah. over the last two years I do not know if they can extend him on top of that you you've gone in a new direction in terms of trying to get the squad younger to trying to, to move in that, this, with Delict, Locatelli, McKenney, Chiesa, and so on. That Kulusevski, that's where you want to go. Yeah. He doesn't fit that. He simply, he simply doesn't fit no. that. So if you can kind of accelerate the rebuild now, you know, maybe if you can let him go, you've got Morata, you bring in another center forward, and you see where you are there. Um, that, to me, wouldn't be a bad plan. Yeah. Um, you know, onto this for the broader question about whether Cristiano's been a success or not, it depends what you expected from him. I always thought it was wrong to say, all right, well, Cristiano's there to win the Champions League. Man, he's not, because you, one player is not no, going no, to no, do it for, for you. No, 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 for sure. I think he has performed, he scored a ton of goals. I think yeah. he's performed in big games, not against Porto. I completely agree with or you. Or against Lyon. And this is where, and again, and maybe he's too... Narrow-minded to to, to sum judge up. And I'm not, one player. No, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not summing up his time at, at Juve just on those two ties, Porto and Lyon especially. But I was at the I was at the game against Lyon in Turin, and this it's just there was something wrong there. He was not happy. He was all he was doing, and he scored a great goal in that game, which was not enough, by the way. But he was all on his own. There was nothing around him. He 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 looked like. I mean, he looks from from the stands, Gab. He looks like 
come on, this is not right. He, he deserves better than that in a way. And Juve maybe can't, of, can't, can't of offer him a, 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 stronger team, a stronger team for him to go and, and, and win those big trophies again. It's an interesting one, and I, this goes back to one of my age-old bugbears, which is, you know, is transparency, yeah. right? Um, part of the reason Juve made this investment in Cristiano was they said, we need to make a quantum leap to the big four of football. Because there, there is a legitimate big four of football, yeah. and it's in terms of revenue. It's, and it's still, even now with all the losses, Barcelona, it's Real Madrid, yeah. it's Manchester United, and it's Bayern, right? Yeah. Commercially, yeah, I'm yeah, talking, commercially, right? Yeah. Paris Saint-Germain punch way above their weight yeah. in many ways, but ultimately it is a different market. Juventus thought that Cristiano could be part of the way of getting there. So it wasn't just about success on the pitch. And the problem is when you get into that, it's really difficult to go and measure because first and foremost, you've had the impact of COVID. Secondly, it's hard to tell how much does the team success on the pitch then fuel the commercial success, how much of it is down to Cristiano, yeah. and also, it's not like Cristiano's performing for free. You're paying Cristiano a lot of money, and you've paid a lot of money to get him, so that kind of offsets whatever commercial yeah. benefit he brings to some degree. So, and Agnelli addressed this saying, well, but on a non-COVID player value rating, blah, 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 it's a net positive. I mean, it's gibberish. It doesn't yeah. mean anything, Completely. right? You can use whatever. Completely. So, do you think if they could do it again, they would? I wouldn't have done it at the time. I wrote at the time that I wouldn't have done it. Um, but now, now they've got those three years in hindsight. Would they do it again? I, if you were to, uh, if you were inject Andrea Agnelli with a truth serum, I think he would say no. He would. They would not yeah. do it again. And it's it's not oh, a yeah, knock on Cristiano. No, it's no, just no. that that team at that time was in the wrong space for it. Yeah. Remember, they changed managers after his first season. Max Allegri, Max Allegri left after his first yeah. season. This was a team of older players that maybe could have competed. Maybe they could have won a Champions League. But when you know that you know, already in April that Allegri is going to leave you after one season with Cristiano, something's wrong behind the yeah. scenes. So, yeah, from that perspective, no, I, I think, and it's not, a, again, Cristiano fanboys. It's not a knock on no, Cristiano no, no, definitely at all. Not. And he's had three managers in three seasons, so... He's got plenty of mitigating finish. circumstances. But from the club, no, I don't think it was, look, it's, I think it's an open secret. It's why Beppe Marotta left the club. Yeah. Fabio Paratici is also no longer there. I don't think that's a coincidence either. Yeah. Obviously, he stuck around for three seasons because he was getting paid. Pavel Nedved's there, but he'll never go away. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, going back, yeah, no, I don't think you do it again. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.